welcome to all in this video we are going to discuss about software development life cycle software development life cycle is a well defined structured sequence of stages in software engineering to develop the software product software development life cycle provides a series of steps to be followed to design and develop a software product efficiently software development life cycle framework includes the following steps communication requirement gathering feasibility study system analysis software design coding testing integration implementation and the last one is operation and maintenance first one is communication this is the first step where the user initiates the request for a desired software product here the user will contact the service provider and submit his request to the service providing organization in writing next one is requirement gathering uh, this step on which the software development team works to carry on the project the team uh, will discuss with the various stakeholders from problem domain and uh, tries to bring out as much information as possible on their requirements Uh, here the uh, requirements are segregated into user requirements system requirements and functional requirements the requirements are collected using a number of practices as given uh, studying the existing or obsolete system and uh, software conducting interviews of users and uh, uh, developers referring to the database collecting answers from the questionnaires next one uh, feasibility study after requirement gathering the team comes up with a rough plan of software process at this step the team analyzes if a software can be uh, made to fulfill all the requirements of the user and uh, if there is any possibility of software being uh, no more useful uh, it is uh, found out if the project is uh, financially or practically Uh, feasible for the organization to take up so there are uh, many algorithms available uh, which uh, help the developers uh, to conclude the feasibility of the software project next one system analysis uh, at this step the developers will uh, decide a road map of their plan and uh, try to bring up the best software model suitable for the project system analysis includes understanding of software product limitations learning system related problems in a existing system before and and identifying and addressing the impact of a project on organization and uh, personal next one software design software design is to bring down whole knowledge of requirements and analysis on the desk and design the software product the inputs from users and informations gathered in the requirement gathering phase are the inputs of this step the output of this step comes in the form of two designs uh, first one logical design and the second one is physical design next one coding uh, this step is also known as a programming phase the implementation of software design starts in terms of writing program code in a suitable programming language and developing error free executable programs efficiently next one is testing an estimate says that 50% of the whole software development process should be tested software testing is done while coding by the developers and thorough testing is conducted by testing experts at various levels of code such as module testing program testing product testing and testing the product at users end next one integration software may need to be integrated with the uh, libraries databases and other uh, programs uh, this stage of software development uh, life cycle is involved in the integration of software with uh, outer world entities next one is implementation this means installing the software on users machines at a times uh, software needs post installation configurations at a users end here the software is tested for portability and integration related issues 
are solved during implementation. Uh, next one, operation and maintenance. Uh, this phase confer confirms the software operation in terms of more efficiency and less errors. If a record, the uh, users are trained with the documentation on how to operate the software and how to keep the software operational. The software is maintained timely by updating the code uh, according to the changes taking place in the users uh, and the environment or technology. Thank you.